Pay, Diablo Burke, Counterpart Judge, and very smart, not very funny. Smart if you can tell, or well, you can't tell because I'm black, got dreads, smoke a whole bunch of weed. I'm fucked up right now. Probably think it's just beer in this right now. It's probably a little bit of everything. Shit that'll kill you, but not me. You. <laughs> but nah, I left it everything stupid. So, that's it. Smell a whole bunch of weed. I'm stoner. They call me Lil Bob Marley. I actually got dressed before I started smoking a whole bunch of weed. <laughs> and everybody's like, let's smoke a whole bunch of weed. Like, wet because of the dreads. Of course not. Then I tried weed. It was the best thing ever. <laughs> it's like moving in slow motion and shit. I was like, it was really like the second time. Try weed. I just started smoking when I was like seven, eight, in like first, second grade. It's one of those badass little kids in the white neighborhood. Always fighting. Sneaking, smoking cigarettes in the woods. Fucking with the girl up the street. Typical. Little kid, you know everybody did. That was before the awkward face. Well, not really awkward. It was just my mom beat my ass, and you know, little kid, you can't fight back. Like, she already hit mom back. She does feed me and clothe me, partially, not, not out of the way, because black parents don't really like to feed you all the way or, or get you the best shit. Cause they get mad. They like. So you work around New Jordans, I got the same shoes on for the last five years. And they only got a name on them. I'm like, well, just sign me, you be famous now. <laughs> just man, that's not how it works. They just sign people's shoes and stuff and just think it's cool. But like I got the new Diallo's on. Nah, my name don't really work. <laughs> But now it's like Arabic, uh, or like African or something. My mom just like the name and she threw it together with like a whole bunch of other names. Stanley Gunawa, Burke. So it's like Stanley Gunawa was supposed to be my first name. Stanley Gunawa, I don't know what the fuck they mean, but Gunawa was like black. So I was like something black Burke. Like they're trying to say, mom, get shot by police. <laughs> nah, the police really don't shoot people though. But back to like, the second or like third time I smoked weed because like when I was young I didn't know what weed was I just knew I was really paranoid I thought that, uh, somebody was going to come find me and I actually dropped a little joint I was smoking joints because my grandma she's old school I don't fuck with white boys now because I always date the police or if they not police I'm like you looking at my girl ain't you? my shit's bigger but they be lying when they say once you go black, you never go back. Cause you look at Michael Jackson. <laughs> but nah, I was serious shit. The first time I smoked weed, well, second, third, fourth, whatever it was. I was like in high school, like ninth grade. And this white boy was like, wanna smoke some weed? And I didn't want to see him laying. Cause like a white boy, I'm like, going to like a little white school. Like Fayetteville somewhere. With all these rednecks and shit so I'm fucked up now it was a great place to live it's just I was black man it's always a disadvantage you gotta work twice as hard that's that's so like counterproductive and then I was like black people are just like smokers and drinkers and we're lazy and stuff they don't want to work twice as hard so you're just gonna like make us work twice as hard to prove you wrong. That why we in the hood now. But this shit good though. Don't drink this shit. Just smoke a whole bunch of weed once it becomes legal. I can't advocate illegal activities unless you're buying them. Or someone I know, and I could just go on like my personal stash or something and sell it to you. It'd be some good ass shit though. But not though. 
Nah, I don't really sell drugs. I'm just playing. Because the police might be watching. 12. That shit's funny. They always talk about 13 is bad luck. And 12 is the right number before 13. I guess it's like the police gonna fire 13 shots at you when you stick your hands up. You got a weapon. What? <laughs> nah. I really never knew, like, should you, like, fight the police back if they're, like, being your ass or should you just later and hopefully somebody's recording and get you a large ass lawsuit. But you always feel, feel like a little bitch if you just get your ass beat. Cause you know how your parents used to tell you? The kid beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass and then make you go back out there. So I'm gonna get three ass whoopings in one day. <laughs> That's fucked up, mom. So you have to make up some big ass story about how you beat the person up you come at with a uh, black eye, seven fingers, eleven toes. I don't know how how the math went either. Maybe one of your fingers got attached to your toes or something. I'm high as fucked up as hell. Told you I'm not funny. But I always laugh at everything. I think life's funny. Like, if people, well, let's just say I was in a crazy ass situation, I'd just be laughing like I'm in a hostage situation. My motherfucker got a gun pointed at me. He'd be like, ha ha. Why? I'd be laughing, I'd be laughing. He'd be like, why the fuck are you laughing? I'll shoot you right now. Like, shit, fuck. <laughs> I hear that from the police every day. I'm already dead, I'm black. <laughs> just playing. You have future is black people. But as I, I was saying, I get sidetracked easy. Probably got like ADHD or something. Or ADD. I like money, so I like just saying ADD. Because it feels like I'm adding up more money. Instead of just being broke and poor and black in the ghetto and the hood. Because you see, this shit's all grainy and shit. But like I said, so white boy told me at home at class. Guess he already had the munch. He was like, well, after school, I guess I'm gonna smoke more weed. It's like, shit. See this weed everybody's talking about. It's Mary Jane. have not been with a girl in a while. Since they thought now I was smart. <laughs> Little dude, I know I might be rich one day. But nah, though. Smart people don't get rich. They just either kill themselves or end up with an ugly ass girl. Hopefully, I don't end up with an ugly ass girl. I'm very, very self-conscious about me and very, very critical of you. Cause I'm skinny as hell. You see this shit? I'm 23 and it's 130 pounds. I was like, it's eighth grade wearing like 75 pounds. I'm like, damn. Okay, at least give me 90. So my grades were higher than my weight. So you tell mom I'm with Femi. Well, she will feed me. You know how black parents be. I'm going to feed you just enough to keep you alive. But not to fill you up. But they be eating all this shit. Be having lobster, shrimp. Well, black people can't afford all this shit. But they be having all the hot dogs, noodles, all the pot pies. Some shit for McDonald's, churches. The real shit that kid. But like I said, I'm gonna get back to the white boy at like the second, third, fourth, or whatever time that was. I smoke weed. So, like I said, I was at home at class. So, I'm gonna get some weed. So, we gonna meet up at the school and stuff. He ended up bringing a Coca Cola can. Come in and have no blunts. Okay, no. Coca Cola's already like crap. But now, nah, I like Sprite though. Or some shit with some shit in it. Well, not shit, but shit, and they could have just be nasty, but so good shit. Y'all know what the fuck I mean. But, like I said, we smoked that Coca Cola can. I was the highest I ever been in my life. And no lie. We smoked in a church park a lot across the street from the school, Sandy Creek. It's like a little. St. Crete High School, it's like a little 
church across the street, we were in the woods and smoked there, and I was just like, I was all paranoid and shit. It was like my first time smoking in a while. And I was like, there I gotta find us, there I gotta get us. I'm watching around, but you gotta smell the weed. I'm up here paranoid as hell. We smoked all the weed. I had to make sure I did that. You can't let that shit go to waste, cause like, starving kids in Africa, and they only got weeds to smoke or eat or whatever you're supposed to do with it. Cause you can do both. Cause shit, you put them motherfuckers brownies, you'd be hungrier as you eat brownies. I'm like, man, this shit suck. This shit like setter. Be eating the fuck out of that motherfucker high as hell. Like shit, they probably done made me want some goddamn fried chicken or some watermelon. But nah, I don't black people don't really like that shit. I just like fried chicken with hot sauce on that shit. Fuck that baked shit. And that watermelon better be sweet too. And not be no old that watermelon that you got to put a bag with some saran wrap or some goddamn aluminum foil or some other or a trash bag. And we don't talk about trash bags. Cause we we can't afford them big ass Ziploc bags. Well, I'm about using that big ass up like bad for that goddamn watermelon. We need that shit. That high upon my perm. But nah, nah, my mom went all natural. After she saved off half her hair. Half her head. What we call it. They shaved off half your head. Like half your body be missing. I'm just saying stupid shit like they call photo. <laughs> but nah, nah. So. Back to me and white boy. I told you I had to straight easy. I'm fucked up in here right now, man. I don't even know. Like, my eyes always be low. Sometimes the motherfucker be like this. Like, like, you barely see. Like, how the fuck I can see out this shit? But I can see, though. Because my eyes are always low. I always thought I had Down syndrome. Down syndrome. But now, goddamn. Guess I just got high syndrome. My shit be high as fuck. My eyes be low as fuck. Nah, though. <laughs> That's how smart. But after we smoked the weed and shit, started walking out the the forest. Security pull up. I guess he smelled the weed or something. Like that. He was sensing. Like this black person doing something wrong on church property. Where I got had it's in my neighborhood. And his John Wayne voice. I don't know if John Wayne would have said it like that. He would probably be like, shoot that nigga in the woods. Gran Turismo. Nah, that was a good movie. I saw it with a white girl. She was cute too. She was a little actress. Nah, I ain't never get to fuck her or see her naked. But I tried. Best believe. I tried. Because I was a little hoe down. I'm a reform hoe. But I said reform. Because I try to fight my whole ways. Once you realize you're a man whore. You can either keep being a man whore, or you can try to become a better man whore and not get caught. Nah, I don't try to do all that cheap shit. I used to have them times where I had three, four, five girls at one time. And it's hard balancing and paying for all that shit. I'm like, nah. I rather have one girl I kick it with, she cheat on me, we break up, I be heartbroken for a while to get fucked up off this shit. That why I'm on this shit right now. Good girl. And she told me she wasn't crazy. And they say the crazy ass motherfuckers are the ones that don't think nothing wrong with them. So you crazy. And you be like, shit, I know I'm crazy and shit. I'm trying to be calm and everything. Then you ain't that crazy, they say. I be like, shit. Maybe, maybe that is right. Goddamn, if you don't know you finna blow up the motherfucking school. Yo, it might be in that motherfucker. That might be one of them days you didn't skip club. I don't skip school. You went high as fuck. But nah, I don't. I ain't smoke like that in school. So I got a job. Now I can support my habit, the weed man habit, in the drug economy. Because you always have to support the American drug economy. That's what Grandma say, right? No. <laughs> I get confused sometimes. But that shit real though. They like said the government brought in crack. They be like shit, we got all this coke on our hands. And we making all these laws and stuff. We might, we might as well make a cheaper form for the minorities that don't make that much. Yeah. 
they supplied that shit from like Cuba or like Venezuela or something. And then banned us for going there. So we can't get the crack for cheap. I'm telling you. With the coke before you were finding the crack. I don't know nothing about that. Never sold drugs. That's all alleged. I did not have sexual relations with that girl. Well, maybe I did by use protection. And it's not my baby. If you don't ain't light skin or white or don't look like you, my came out with dreads, smoking the blood and all that. That's not my baby. I'm gonna take her ass on Mari show. And I'm gonna be like, shit, that baby look like everybody in the hood. She went with me, my partner, my brother, my sister. Could be my sister, baby. I don't even know. Shit. <laughs> what I'm saying? My sister not. Okay, they say. Why they get mad at me for saying that shit? Okay, you know how black women always get mad at you. I grew up with a black mom. That's why I laugh all the time. Probably went to comedy. It was my way of escaping. But shit, mama, I just asked you if you gonna really take me to Six Fast. This will be my first time. It's my sixth birthday and everything. I know we're poor. So I go to the fair instead. I don't like roller coasters. I want to go sit fat. Well, I know I live in Georgia, and I can go there anytime. I got a date with kids, and I have to pay for it. Cause her baby daddy won't pay for it, and she still fucking him. And nigga on the side, and the nigga on the side side, and one of their cousins, and the other my brother. But I still love her though. That's still my bitch, or everybody bitch. But, no, I don't like calling female bitches. I took women's studies class. I ain't even finished first story. I told you. I'm fucked up in hell. Like, for real, though. But shit. Yeah, how you get over heartbreak? Just get about the motherfuckers. Cause shit. Girl did me wrong. But yeah, so we walk across the street. And the security guard. He was like, what the, uh, uh, what y'all doing come across the street from church? It's like, well, high as fuck, high as I love first time, you know, paranoid as fuck. I already thought people was out to get me security or armor got me. So, well, just coming from my friend house. Okay, do quit thinking I'm going to let the white boy talk. So he's probably going to snitch on us. But I snitch on us bad. And my mommy be being paranoid. Or oh, it might have been like my ancestors DNA, my ancestors DNA coming in. I say, man, but like the white man's gonna betray you. But nah, that's a good right friend. But nah, so I said we came from my friend Derek's house. We used the church woods as a shortcut to go up the street and come back to school for our parents to pick us up. What's his last name? I knew a Derek. He was black. He lived up the street too. I didn't know his last name. So I had to think fast and high. So I said, Derek Johnny. So you said, your friend Derek Johnny just came from his house and that's why you were walking from the woods. Yes, sir, Mr. Security Guard. Well, I'm going to talk to you later. And I, uh, I'm going to check out and see with this Derek Johnny. If y'all were over there. So I'm like, damn, we passed. But if you find this Derek Johnny, he gonna say I went with his ass. I was in the woods and high. They'll be just paranoid. Think he's gonna know. But I was like, maybe he won't recognize me. I'm only one of like 20 black people in the school. You know, all black people look like. Even the black folks. Shit, you be lucky if I remember your name. Shit. The only reason I know LeBron James, the difference between LeBron James and Kobe, is they wear different jerseys. If they was on the same team. I don't know who it is. I'm just like, I know Kobe, my favorite player. Which one hairline we're seeing more? Both of them. Both of them about the same age. <laughs> I'm just playing. LeBron James hairline for seeing more. The Black Mama is my favorite player. Shout out to Kobe. Fuck LeBron James. No, not really fuck LeBron James because I'm not gay. Girls I used to fuck used to ask me that. It's black, are you gay? 
like, nah, I'm trying to fuck you. I'm just trying to take it slow. It showed that I really care instead of treating you like a hoe. Because shit, if I treat you like a hoe, you just gonna say I'm trying to treat you like a hoe and all I wanna do is fuck. I might wanna fuck. But I ain't all I wanna do. I wanna fuck, make some different positions, how you cook me some dinner, roll up my blunts, all type of shit. Help me make some money. I ain't talking about hoeing. Even though I have been there before. I said I was a foreign hoe. So even with foreign hoes, fuck hoes every now and then. I don't even like hoes. Had to drink to that. Two sips for two chains. Three sips for the blood of Christ. Nah, I don't even like hoes. I like little smart girls. I like little geeky girls. Little shy girls, all that. Girls that most people won't even got to pay attention to. Once you be on the first date, she like, I ain't giving you pussy. You be like, well, shit. I was already getting from these other girls. I might go back to them then. Nah. Now, I just end up with hoes. But nah, I be looking for the smart girl. I be with these hoes like, damn, girl, you dumb as fuck. And I know it too. So, I mean, you gonna fall for some nigga lies too. On the one with all the shit. Yeah, this nigga say he gonna be on come up. When he don't come up, y'all gonna be on come up. I don't think he try to do it come up inside. So another nigga be like, damn, bitch, you got two babies that I gotta take care of now? Damn. And you still fuck with your baby dad? That shit be fucked up for real, though. I ain't even finished the first though. I told you, goddamn, my ass got ADHD for real, though. I'm just drunk and high as fuck. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a good thing. We wanna get fucked up, but it's like Saturday, like 10:22. But it's a good time to get fucked up before noon, before happy hour. Yo, I'd be happy as fuck, sleep, dream about some good ass shit. Just knocked out, fucked up if you ain't on the toilet throwing up and all that shit, cause you ain't eating that. I told you, I'm pouring black. You can't be eating no. Three squares a day like Wright Street. That shit hard out here. It's a recession. They come back on food stamps. Got down threatening the drug test and shit. Even though I don't do drugs. Tell you, I don't do drugs. I, I got down. I can answer all the questions about how many times I smoke a day. And all that. But I don't know. Give me no drug test. And that motherfucker I'll be dirty. I'm going to try to cheat the drug test. I ain't no cheater. No more. No more. <laughs> but goddamn, my ass gonna try to cheat. But goddamn, I'm just gonna be like, shit, you waste your time and my time. That motherfucker gonna come back dirty as fuck. They gonna say that nigga smoke goddamn five, six times a day. They be like, shit, he can't hide to the drug test. I was like, shit, I thought you were gonna give me a real test. Told you I'm smart. Shit, I know goddamn. You ain't supposed to smoke weed or you only supposed to smoke it a certain type of day, certain, certain time of day and all that. You got got cold or you can't sleep or anxiety, all that shit. But it's fucked up how they say us crazy folks. We can't smoke weed. And that shit the thing that keep us calm. And they gave all the crazy folks, all the ones that want to kill motherfuckers, all that shit. Weed. You wouldn't even want to kill nobody no more. You just had unlimited supply of weed right there in the front. So the doctor prescribed that shit to you. Like all that other shit that kill you. But you ain't want to kill you. But all that other shit will. Yo ass won't even want to be killing no motherfucker. You just be want to eat. You got ate up all your food stuffs in a week. Like damn I shouldn't have sold the other half for, for 50 cent on the doctor. I should have charged 60. Tax that. But nah. Selling food since it's illegal. And I don't get enough to sell them to you. So don't ask my ass. I'm trying to see who's selling them. And not get caught. Because this is an advertisement slash not advertisement. Because this is actually a comedy. But shit, hit me up if you got the food steps on deck. Shit, if you want to trade it for illegal substances, that's even better. Because shit. Instead of burning cash, I just convert that shit straight to food. And shit, I got all the other legal sisters, so my ass be up there. 
hungry and hot. I mean, not hungry. Full and hungry as fuck. Full and hungry as fuck. I told you I'm fucked up. <laughs> my ass be full and hot as fuck, man. I tell you, I'm feeling good. I told you, big ass smile on my face. She got my little ponytail sticking up. Got dreads and shit. Man, motherfuckers always be trying to pull my hell niggas and females. I ain't talking about why I fucking this shit. I'm talking about fighting this shit. So I'm about 130 pounds. Nah, I don't know. I got a little muscle. I got a little flex gang going on. No flex, tell Nah, that shit's my own fuck. <laughs> and I got like a conservation shirt on. So I used to go to college and shit. Tell them I was smart as fuck. I don't even remember what all the fuck I was talking about. I told you. You probably do because you got to ride a video by the nigga talking about something. He ain't even tell me what it was. But I'm fucked up. I'm feeling good. I'm just out of here, goddamn. Talking about bullshit. I ain't even finished first story, so I might come back to second story. God, I told you about it. Goddamn, like I got to mention or some shit. You know, like, you got um, great grandma, great great aunt, or uh, whatever it is. They got, um, got to mention and shit. I always tell you the same story. Back in my day, we used to all go swimming. And we used to all just jump up and down. So we wouldn't have it sis. Like damn, I feel bad for you. We were doing jumping and I'm, I'm having all types of things. I'm trying to have a threesome. But I don't do that shit no more. I told you I'm a farm hoe. But finish that first story. So after I talked to the security guard and everything, I was just like, white boy, me and you got split. So got am you white, I'm black, we both high. And they see the white boy with the black boy high, they gonna think I did it. So I went to the bathroom, got me some water, threw some water on my face, moving all slow motion like a robot and shit. High as fuck. So I come out, sitting on the bench. I see my other boy, he a little twin. I knew which one was, it was Raymond. It was Raymond and Brandon, both twins. They looked a little different. They was, they was twins, they were almost identical. But they was a little fraternal. I ain't talking about no goddamn fraternity or no shit like that for your dumb ass motherfucker. You know what fraternal I did between Siamese and all that shit. And I ain't talking about fucking Siamese bitches. Even though I would. And it's not an advertisement. Because proposition and sex is bad if, if it involves money. Especially my money. If you will pay me to have a threesome, foursome, orgy, I'm perfectly fine with it. But but nah, I'm not a hoe. I'm a farm hoe, so I, I would turn down your money because I'm my own money. Turn down your hoe. You then flip her around and fuck her. Then send her back to you. I'll be heartbroken because she said she was just her friend. For real though. But nah, so. I let the white boy. Go his separate way and I went to the bathroom so just water on my face, drink me some water, thinking I was gonna come down and everything. So I'm just high as fuck, just like waiting for like my foster parents. But I was poor and we get fed and shit. Told you poor black. Come get me. So I'm sitting on the bench, just world spinning, moving in slow motion. It's raining. I'm like, oh the rain gonna make me feel better. So I'm like, I'm gonna stay in this motherfucking rain so over my ass up. So I first realized cold so cold showers are the best way to sober your ass up when you fucked up. I don't even like cold water. I like warm water, jacuzzis, all that hot tubs, all that shit. But if I'm fucked up, I start overheating and shit. The world starts spinning and shit. I want me some cold shower. So I can get there and activate my pores to tell me that I'm here. I'm still alive, hopefully, by the next day. So my ass sitting here laying in the shot, uh, laying in there, talking to my wife, uh, my other boy, my twin. I'm like, if I'm dead, the white boy Charles killed me. Over some weed, you know how paranoid your ass be, especially your first time. So goddamn, he's like, all right. I think I had to tell him twice, cause I was so paranoid. It was the white boy Charles killed me. So I rode home. Probably took me a little shower, got me something to eat, and went to sleep on their ass. And I'm good. I survived, survived my first weed encounter. They say you could die the first time you smoke weed. And this girl from California actually told me she was allergic. 
the weed. I said, so you live in California where they legalize weed. And your ass is allergic and will break out in highs. You are around weed. I said, you live in the wrong goddamn state. I want to move it. Okay, we switch places. Except for the being allergic to weed part of them. I had to be there all covered in highs. Motherfuckers be like, you got the plague or leprosy or something. That shit nasty, but, but nah, I'm just joking. So, on the other thing, relationships and stuff, man. These girls always want you to be kept to save a hoe. And then go with a bullshit ass nigga or some lame ass nigga. And then still expect you to save them at the end. They buy off the fuck this sorry ass, no good ass nigga. Instead of you, I want you to save me at the end. Why what? So you telling me we've been going together for five years. You been pregnant three times. And I still can't get no pussy. What, we married or something? But nah, no, I don't do that shit. My relationships only last like three months. Most of them, I only count as relationships. Got probably get somebody else girl anyway, so I can't be in a relationship with somebody else girl. You can't be, you can't be a third wheel. I'm like, shit, if I ain't that third wheel getting all the pussy, we can't be together. Even though it's not all about the pussy, it's about you, I care about you. I'm still a nigga. If I ain't wanna fuck you, I be gay. Or I tell all the girls. I'm like, I ain't gay, so I wanna fuck you. But it's not just about the sex. Cause the sex will be good and great. And I eat the hell out your coochie if you bad enough and you don't got too many kids and all that shit. You ask all the other girls at College Park in Atlanta and shit, they know about me. Shit, for real though. <laughs> None of the smile though. Hell yeah. Eat the hell out that shit. I got there and watch them legs and do that shit. All ah, 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 that shit. My ass nasty though. I'm nasty, I'm freaky. I'm a reform freak. Remember that shit. They yeah, ain't be calling me no hoe. Cause I ain't no hoe no more. I don't got a hold on my, I don't got a hold on. That sound like a little Gucci song on my, but he wouldn't be talking about he want a hold on my. Shit, he be like, shit, I want to have her hold all day. I'm finna have a hold and she don't pay. I'm finna have to have, have a hold and push her out of that damn hummer. <laughs> but I don't want to pay for real though. <laughs> nah, that Gucci ain't like that. Gucci, I know you ain't doing Gucci. I said, cause I rap a little bit too though. I did I write my shit down so I can remember that shit. My memory bad for smoking all that alleged weed. I said just cause dementia run family. I don't be trying to wish bad on me. I almost forgot how to make the cross on my chair that time that I fucked up I am. But now nah, I'll be trying to do all that bullshit. I just be having trying to chill, have a good time and everything. Now I'm a down ass bitch. Niggas always be like, they want a down ass bitch. By hell yeah, down on her knees. A down with your face down in the pillow. Down on this bed. It's going down. That shit old as fuck. <laughs> For real though, it's 2014 though. That shit was just lame, like, it was corny. Goddamn, just cut, chop that shit off. Chop the whole bean stock down. Chop down, down. All the children are corn up and all the motherfuckers. I ain't talking about no abortions, y'all dumb ass motherfucker. Cause I don't support that shit. I let your ass broke. Then you can't pay for no abortion anyway, but you better go to Planned Parenthood. They out there and say you really, really need them motherfucker. Shit, unless you in one of them other countries where they be like, shit, the mother life got to be in danger. But be like, shit, I'm in danger of losing my financial stability. I had him pay for their kid and his food and house and them and all this shit. And now I gotta get me a two bedroom. But shit, but I wanna fuck, I don't want the kid watch. Motherfucker, I had kids when you got down eight, nine. Other motherfuckers did that shit. Man, that shit ain't funny. Child molestation and all that shit, that shit ain't funny. If you touch my little sister, I'm gonna break shit. Kill your ass. Then plead a Sandy on you, cause they already stuck me in that motherfucker. They already know I'm crazy. And I'm off my meds too. They want them off this shit. 
و امون شي ابا شي اشتي اميت باي شي يو تاي نو ماي اميت تاع شي غا مي ستيرو شي ام 18 تما ميك مي ستيرو سي ليس بابليش تشاو يا تشا كي ريد بلاك مان يا نا بي ما بيرنو fight the white man power shit all that shit I ain't even probably smoked that day I probably smoked the day before oh, oh shit it's 12 on 1 <laughs> I'm just popping up but nah though like I said these girls I can't fuck with these girls in the land most don't act like more hoes than a nigga I'm like shit how you got more boyfriends than I got girlfriends I only got one, your ass working on number seven. Baby daddy number three. But you said number one. <laughs> you number one at the time. Till the test results come back. You are not the father. And he be like, shit. She be like, I know. Maybe it is your brother or your dad. Or that random ass dude I met at the bar that one time you ain't come cause I got so mad at you. I was like, this nigga don't care. But one time you didn't show up after all 30 million times. You done drove in a tornado. They bought her and her two kids when she 23. Something to eat and some clothes and shit. And then she's like, damn. I should go be with my baby daddy. See if he could be like this. The nigga ain't me. Y'all chew me. And two goddamn, I'm like, nah, bitch, you cheat. Then I get the hell on. I'm more form, ho. I can't be with a hoe. You might have me goddamn relapse or some shit. No Amy Winehouse. Whitney Houston. Britney Spears. Justin Timberlake. I'm just playing. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Uh. It's funny. Now all this celebrity shit, watching all this celebrity shit become famous. That's not the move. It's not about fame. It's about the quality of life and the quantity of money. Because um, money does not buy everything. It just buys most things in America. It can buy you pussy. It can buy you love for your car good enough. If the house big enough. I'm like, shit, bitch, you just want me for my money. And I want me for my money. So we can't be after the same thing. We enemies now. But not nah, though. I got side chat looking at my dress for a minute. I told you. I can't stay on topic. But goddamn. Do the shit real one time. Just want to talk about some bullshit. Just see what y'all like. Just fuck with me.